feathers being ruffled um it might have been a theory but it, it seems yeah to be. and i think you know it, it for me you know uh it, the reader gets to decide themselves mm. you know perhaps how much of this is is fiction how much yeah. is, is maybe you know bordering on on, on, yeah. on truth yeah I, i've tried to i've tried to not lead the the, the reader uh, down one route and I've tried to leave open uh, as many aspects of the novel as possible for the reader to make their own mind up. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's not a statement that says this is what's hap happening out in Africa. This is the real control that we have. But readers can make up their own mind as to as to whether they think it's it's true or not. And the book's had some fantastic reviews, mm. uh, not just from me, but from uh, other yeah. people who read the story as well. Mm. And in fact, it's even been um, suggested it, it, it will appeal to um, you know fans of George Orwell's 1984 yeah. and, and other kind of uh, books like that, powerful yeah. stories like that, conspiracy theory stories. So some terrific reviews. It's, yeah. it's really been received well. But I understand that you've um, something you wanted to announce was is something you're quite ex excited about doing in order to get the book out there um, to, to a wider audience and allow people to uh, get into the story. So, so what, what have you been planning? What we're going to do, um, from uh, Midsummer's Day this year, I'm going to serialise the book. I'm going Can to release... Release that? That's June... June 21st, I think. 21st, so it's about, about a month away. About a month away. Yeah. Um, so every week uh, I'm going to... Um, publish a complete chapter on my website. Wow. And uh, free of charge so people can, to, can dip into it and, uh, and, uh, and basically read the story um, up until Christmas. So the first 26 chapters will, will, will come out. And, and that's, about, that's about half of the... About half, half book, so. yeah. And um, if, if, if people sort of come to the, the party a little bit late, they'll be able to click onto a link that takes them back to... They, they can jump back and restart, yeah, restart from chapter one. Yeah. Yeah. What a fantastic idea. Well, hopefully it's, uh, um, it, it'll encourage people to to get involved in it because it, I, I've tried to make it as involving and as um, pacey uh, as I possibly can and it's sort of an ensemble thing because you've got the different stories going on in parallel that then come back together for the for the conclusion and um yeah so it'd be it, yeah it's free of charge 26 chapters and uh, hopefully people will enjoy it well so uh, just to clarify so you're going to publish free of charge obviously for anybody to to, to visit the site and read um one chapter per week yeah starting from midsummer's day yep uh, for 26 weeks, which will take us just up until till Christmas. So it's a yeah. serialisation. Yeah. Um, and that's really interesting, actually. I was, I was, um, it makes me, it reminds me, actually, of, uh, Charles Dickens used to do something similar, didn't yeah. he? You know, and yeah. he would actually write a novel. I think yeah. the difference was he was publishing as he was writing. Yes. But he would, he would publish a chapter in, in one of the newspapers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, every week or every every month, um, yeah, serialised in uh, that way. So he didn't. He didn't get much traffic to his website. No, no, yeah, <laughs> no, he's, he didn't actually. No, but <laughs> that's great. What a fantastic. Uh, I mean, that, I, I love that. Obviously, you know, as, as, a, as a website and social media yeah. um, person, you know, I think it's a great way of getting content 
out to your audience uh, for them to enjoy. You yeah, know, absolutely. Uh, quite, yeah. Uh, complimentary content for them to enjoy yeah. and hopefully introduce um, you know the story to a, a, a much Absolutely. broader audience um, um, so it, there'll be a blog post uh, every week basically yep. with a chapter uh, for your yep. audience to read and they can obviously then link if they want to read further ahead they Absolutely, can access yes. the book if they get to the point whereby you know they've read uh, half a dozen chapters and think actually I can't wait to next week I don't I'm going to yeah. go and buy the book yeah. and I'll be able to buy the book. Okay. Which would be super. Fantastic. And I'll certainly be, uh, um, you know, because people can contact me through the website. If they've got questions, they want to comment on on each chapter as it goes along, I'll, I'll definitely respond to, to emails. And, and you really enjoy getting feedback. You really enjoy engaging yeah. Yeah. with readers and, and just people who love, Is love novels. I, I, I would love that because um it's it's a very strange situation once you finish writing a book and it's out there it to a degree it's no longer yours it's it, it's the reader and their interpretation of it and i would love to hear what people's views are um and see how it actually corresponds to what my intention was because you know uh, people receive things in different ways don't they um so i'd, I'd be more than happy to enter into conversations yeah. well, actually well, that's one of the interesting things i know about you is you you do very much enjoy engaging with your readers i know a lot of authors um it, it's it, it's very difficult to access most authors mm. um and, and in fact most authors you can only access them through their publishers yeah. i know that you actually enjoy direct contact from your readers Definitely, and you're, yeah. you're always very happy for the for, for readers Certainly. to contact you directly and and ask you questions about the book, yeah. find out a bit more, um, probably ask questions about uh, what's coming next. What's because, coming next, yeah. Because one of, the, um, um, one of the really exciting things about finishing there, though, my dear, it was both exciting and frustrating because um, there is some conclusion, but, you know, very much, it's very clear that there's more to come. The, um, I'm, I'm currently writing the sequel. Okay. And it picks up... Um, almost immediately after the end of, of There They My Dear. And it's a continuation of, um, of the storylines um, that just take the, the, the story further forward into, um, you know, into that um, combination of reality TV and politics. And uh, it, it'll be interesting, I hope, for the readers to see where characters have gone since the end of, of there they might be because there, there, you know, there's some events that really change people uh, mm -hmm. people's views and their confidence levels and their beliefs and that kind of thing and uh, yeah so uh, that, that's uh, that's underway and i'm looking to publish that next year well. and so how many books are planned uh, there'll be three in the series it's a trilogy right it's a trilogy and um it will it goes from there they might be which is the uh, the starting process of this um, um, the, the, the competition and some then that will go on to the, um, the second book which actually covers the finalisation of the competition the third book is what happens after um, after the winner has uh, 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 gone into politics and um, all of the, uh, the social media influences the characters the control the, the romance and, uh, and and all that kind of stuff concludes in the third novel. But the, yeah, you're absolutely right. The end of um, there, them idea is um, uh, there is some open-ended stuff. There's some uh, stuff that needs well, to be. Well, it leaves you wanting more yeah. straight, straight away. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and if possibly a few more secrets to come out. Of Absolutely. I mean, we've got the uh, uh, you know the massive suggestion about what's happening in Africa, which. Um, might prove to be true. Okay. Um, and something else that uh, links to Africa but has a broader um, uh, potential impact is um, it will be revealed in the second book. And it's uh, that's an interesting thing because uh, um, when people get to read it, there's there there, there is most definitely a, uh, an element of truth in it. Um, the, again, if I've accidentally stumbled on something in fiction that actually happens to be absolutely perfectly true, um, then we might be ruffling more feathers.
I was thinking about that, yeah. So, uh, and, and I mean, had you considered the fact that, that you might be following in the footsteps of somebody like Geoffrey Archer and actually writing from inside um, a, a, more, a more confined space? <laughs> Um, in all fairness, um, I have actually thought that that might be the case. <laughs> I, I really have, because, uh, yeah, uh, if, if the su suggestion, and I do know, I mean, the second, the second novel fa uh, base, the, the, sorry, the, um, the secret revealed in the second novel, um, I do know, and I've researched it quite a bit, that, uh, you know that's it's not far from the truth at all, and um, it'll be it. Yeah, I, I might be find myself um, speaking to people with um, um, unnatural presence. <laughs> <laughs> the irony of, uh, of that, of course, was that Geoffrey Archer was in fact an MP. Absolutely, it does. But sometimes makes me wonder what um, what MPs and former prime ministers could reveal if they yeah. chose. To. Now, a little bit did tell me. Uh, and I don't know too much about this, but that you've written for this also uh, what's referred to as a film treatment. What yeah. actually is a film treatment? A film treatment is, um, it's not a film script, but it's a very, very detailed, it's almost like a detailed synopsis of, of the action. Um, and it's, uh, it is designed to, you know, for what I'll be doing, I'm, uh, I've got some interest from some um, film production companies that, have um, co commented as a lot of readers have that there, there, my dear, would make a good film. Absolutely, it would. Fantastic, yeah. A, a film or TV serialisation, yeah. absolutely. So I've done the film treatment and uh, I'm, I'm looking to um, start speaking with production companies about it. They make a great mm. film. And if you're involved in the production mm. of the film, hypothetically, mm. you, which which big names could you see uh, oh. stepping into some of the shoes? It's a difficult one, isn't it? It is a very, very difficult Maybe one. Maybe Simon Cowell could actually... Um, that would be... Uh, ..take part of <laughs> Carl Andrews. <laughs> that would be something else, wouldn't it? That really would. Um, but, yeah, I mean, would he agree to having any more Botox? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, some, some names. It is very, very difficult to uh, to think of actors that that could play the parts and, and maybe that's something that readers could suggest to me. Well, I am. So, I know readers are loving the book. I'm absolutely loving the book. I'm really excited about the serialisation. I think it's just a, a brilliant way to get a really, really great story mm -hmm. um, out in front of more people that, that I know will enjoy the story. So it's absolutely... Yeah. Brilliant, really exciting. Not long to go now. Not long to go. Really, it's a really, really good talking to you, Neil, this morning about the book. Fantastic. Thanks for coming. Uh, I hope it continues to go well, and I can't wait for the sequel. So, I better crack on. Yeah, you better crack on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Great. Speak soon. Thank you very much.